Hello everyone, it's I, Pioneer, with another model kit review. This time we are doing one of my older model kits I built back almost 10 years ago, back in around 2015, 2016. This right here is the Zonko Amazing from Gun and Bill Fighters, created and piloted by Tatsuka Yuki, or known as Majin Kawagachi III. This right here is actually a, one of my very first Zonkos I ever built as a beginner gunpla builder. And actually one of my favorites this actually has a place in my heart, especially being one of my first ever Zonkos. I really love the design of the Zonko Amazing. It's more tactical than this. It's one of the reasons why I got it, because I'm a, I'm a guy who loves military stuff and all the tactical stuff that goes towards it, and I really love the design for this. That and it's another ready unit. Like, <laughs> like that is a thing that's going to be complicated with me. It's like, if it's a red unit, you know why I got it. It's red. It's always got to be bought. Uh, but with that out of the way, let's go with everything the Zonko Amazing comes with. And we're back, and this is everything the Zonko Amazing comes with. So, I will say there will be a caveat in this that I am technically missing some parts and weaponry overall for the uh, Zonko Amazing. That being, I'm technically missing its rocket launcher. I'm missing some hand manipulators because, once again, I will say this is a model kit I built almost 10 years ago. So, this thing has been on my shelf for like the longest time. So, there are things that are technically missing, but overall, I do have everything that it comes with on the on the main unit itself. But with that out of the way, let's go with the first parts of the machine, uh, which are technically on Zonk at the moment because technically it can't take them off because that requires a lot more effort. And it's these uh, five tube missile launchers right here attached to the backpack. These right here are rocket launchers that are meant to be fitted with different types of rockets used for bombardment against bombardments to either attack or distract enemy units. Uh, these right here actually able to go up and down. Uh, it's a little bit floppy one up because it's been over the years. Uh, they kind of, kind of like, kind of like a bow joint themselves. Like see right there, so they were to move a little bit. So they're not just up and down, kind of like some other model kit units that have similar rocket launchers that only go up and down. These actually can move a little bit side to side, so that's just pretty great because they're kind of on bow joints. Now the main reason when I said these are kind of like stuck on here, let me show you a bit. Uh. So this is, on a, this is on a dual peg, so I think it's making it can fit any dual peg piece right there, but the reason why it's stuck on here because the tubes for the Zakus are attached onto the backpack, so you can't really remove that without removing that. And it's been a long time since I removed this, so I would actually need to get the manual for this, which is sadly put away somewhere in one of my storage uh, bins for my manuals, so I would actually have to go find it. But besides that, uh, overall let's do a little quick overview overview of the Zako Amazing. Overall, pretty great model kit right here. You can see how it's pretty nice in design. The coloring, the detail work is all pretty great. And despite being a almost 10 year old kit, it still holds up even to this day right here. Detail work right here. Now I will say you can see some of the marks and whatnot for the model kit. This is one of my very first model kits, so I really wasn't as talented now. So now looking at all this here, probably gonna go back and do some uh, rework on this, sanding a bit to clean all this up. So hopefully that will be later down the line. And a little bit more painting too because I actually do kind of want to paint some of this to be a little bit more detailed. Because I did do some detail work in panel lining but I didn't do all of it. Uh, that's the difference between younger me versus older me now who is a way more better modeler than younger me back then. But younger me back then was still starting so I really can't blame younger me. Now going from the missile tubes, let's go with his uh, primary close range weaponry. Granted, we do have one Heat Hog from the base Zaku because this comes with almost every Zaku variant, even the custom units, because it's one of the main weaponry that all Zakus have, and it's very iconic for almost Zeon units. We have uh, what these are called, I think these are called Heat Natas. I like to call them Heat Cleavers because technically that's what they look, especially for someone who tends to cook a lot. Uh, these are very, these weapons right here are close range weaponry stored in the backpack as well. Actually, one of the things I do like about this, because you can store this right here in the backpack. Boom, it is stored right there. That is held pretty nice. It doesn't fall apart, so that's pretty great. And it can use its hands to take it apart, flip it around, and boom, attack enemies right there. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, these actually pretty nicely designed. They're meant to be attacked. They're close-range weaponry. And what's it called? And they can be used to defend against what's called um, even uh, head Vulcans from other enemy machines because the heat weaponry are able to 
melt multiple of the bullets coming through. So it's actually pretty nice. Going from the heat, close another close range weaponry to some uh, close to mid range weaponry, we have a tank gun, or I like to call it snub nose revolver. First, we have this, we have its uh, holster right here, which comes with it. Just a rare thing when it comes to model kits to actually have actual working holsters. I'm looking at you, Gun of Vidar. I had to make my own holster so I can hold its pistols in. Uh, but going to holster actually fits right there pretty nice and it hooks onto the side skirts, which is another good thing. Then we have the snub nose revolver, which you can see right here is pretty nice design. Uh, detail work is pretty nice. I'm actually going to do some painting and detail work because since I do have the gunmetal paint, so I'm actually going to be doing rework on this. So I might do a side by side of uh, how it is right now versus how I'm going to customize paint it later down the line. Overall, pretty like really like these snub nose revolvers. I like it when Gunpla and Gundams come with. Uh, like real life weaponry instead of just like the you know futuristic uh, military futuristic weaponry and then last but not least we have the long rifle or I like to call the Zonko Mason's version of the anti-material rifle this right here is a long range weaponry very destructive it is created from actually a tank model from what I've been able to read and it's able to destroy almost any enemy because it's anti-material rifle from a tank. So it's actually pretty nice. You guys can see what you mean. You can see the barrel of the tank cannon right here. And you can see where the part where it probably came from here. So not bad at all. We also got the detail work where the shell cannon can be exited right there. I mean, let me remove the Zonka right here. So we're going to actually have some detail work. I do apologize if the camera's not been focusing as it should be. Again, I do apologize if the camera's being, being kind of like that, but you can see right there where the barrel right here is pretty nice. You can actually see where everything comes from a tank cannon, actually, and I do believe it. I will say there are some caveats that we are missing some things, too, that comes with it. It does technically come with the base rocket launcher that almost any Zonku comes with. I do technically have what one looks like, but technically it's attached to one of my other Zonkos at the moment, and has the Zonko Origins. See right here, this is the rocket launcher that this Zonko Amazing would technically also come with as well. But I don't know where that rocket launcher is, so here's what this it will look like for those who want to know. Uh, this right here, for those who want to know, this is the Zonko Origin. This is one of the uh, updated Zonkos right here. And we'll do like a side-by-side -side comparison of this later down the line. But that's not for this right now. <sighs> and then it will also come with the base uh, machine gun that almost all Zonkos come with. The one that has like that... Uh, pizza, uh, pizza pan, what's called magazine, and that's pretty much everything the Zonko uh, Mason comes with. So another caveat too, especially with weaponry or extra stuff too. But this is another option set. Back when Bill Fires had like a different amount of option sets, it had uh, the Amazing Booster, which was kind of like the core booster or the Bill Booster that the uh, Bill Strike technically had, or the full package uh, uh, booster. Uh, had so were able to combine all the weaponry to so it can make like a flight unit core booster to fight uh, to fight which uh, we saw during the uh, final battle between the Zonko Mazin and the Bill Strike full pack at the end after both machines were destroyed both core fighter units were basically left to fight off and both of them crashed uh, that right there is a separate uh, option set you I technically get I didn't get that because what's called I didn't think I need it at the time I kind of regret not getting it but that would combine with some parts on here, attached with the anti-material cannon right here. So it can fight, so you have like a core booster to fight with. But that is everything I can think about that the Zonko Mason comes with that you don't see right now on it. Everything on here is what you would see normally. There's some other parts too that you would get from the base Zonku as well. But with out of the way, now let's go with the articulation of the Zonko Mason. And we're back, and now let's go with the articulation of the Zonko Amazing. And first things first, a little bit overview of the Zonko Amazing first, so you can see how it looks. Side by side, left and right, rotating around before we start getting to it. The detail work that this thing guys has is pretty nice overall. Now let's go with the head. The head right here can rotate 360 because it is on a, on a uh, ball joint, not ball joint, but it's on the general peg point you can see right there. Tights onto it right here. It's able to go wiggle wiggle back and forth, left and right. So pretty nice. The arm, it's kind of blocked by the armor, but 
His armor is on peg points. You can see right there. So we can actually remove that so the arm can have more rotation. You can see right there. Up and down, that's all the arm can go right there. No problem at all. It's able to spin around, no problem at all. Base arm can spin as well. You can see right here. It's got a single joint hand right there. So that's as far as it can get with his arm. And its hand is able to rotate, no problem at all. Almost all Gunpla hands can rotate. And can wiggle back and forth, up and down, no problem at all. And looking pretty nice. Then it's ab joint, as it does have an ab joint. Especially for like an older kid right here, having ab joints is kind of like rare. It's able to go up and down, no problem. Sadly, it can only move left and right a little bit because, once again, the tubes, the piping tubes that the Zakus usually come with is kind of blocking it, so it can't move. So I'm having to break that, which I'm not going to be wanting to break that. Then we go with the uh, legs. The side skirts can only go so far. But you can see right here, the legs are on peg points. So this thing is actually as modern as most modern kits would be. So it can almost do the split, which is, we're almost there. The only thing that's kind of blocking us from doing the full split is the side skirts themselves. But besides that, the leg can go all the way up. Go all the way back over here and do some like budging on the leg right there. Uh, what's it called? The leg's able to bend all the way down a single leg knee joint thing right there. It's kind of like a leg knee joint right there, so it's able to bend all the way. I'm not too sure if that's a single joint or a double joint, but it kind of feels like it. Then the feet right there, it's able to wiggle, it's able to go left and right, wiggle front and back. Technically, it can spin, but the armor right here is kind of blocking it. Because it is on a ball joint, so it should be able to spin. But once again, the leg armor here is kind of blocking it. So it was not the leg armor, which it technically can purge, should be able to spin. But with it on, it can't. Overall, articulation is pretty good, despite this being a ten-year-old or ten-year-plus uh, model kit. It still holds up to this day, uh, which I actually really do like. Now let's go with size comparison with the other model kits that I have around. And going with size comparison, since I technically already showed one Zaku, might as well show comparison to the other Zaku. Sorry for the dust on this guy, he's been on the shelf as well for a long time. This right here is the Zaku Char Zaku Origins type from Gundam Origins. Uh, right here. You can see the difference between the coloring between left and right. As uh, uh, the Zaku Amazing is kind of going back towards how, technically how original anime was. With a little bit with the lightish red pink right here. Versus the Origins going a little bit more on the dark maroon right here. You can see right here. Overall, you can see the differences, how they're all detailed and whatnot. Then again, the Origins is a little bit more how realistic it should be and whatnot. Versus the Zaku Amazing. And going from one Zaku Zeon unit to another. Uh, let's go with another ta uh, Tatsuka Yuki's or Mage Kawa Extra Search Machines. It's also a little bit dusty, but also one of my other favorites. We have the Cam for Amazing. This right here is actually another model kit. We'll do a review later on. Pretty nice design. They're almost the, almost the same size right here. You can see the detail works on both of them. These right here are great machines that I really do love. Uh, the Cam for still being technically on the older joints, but still pretty good possibility. And their size is pretty almost the same. Going from Cam Feet, uh, we also have... I'm going through all the uh, major Kawachi's units so, because I technically have almost all of them. Uh, we have Amazing X here, right here. Overall, the pretty nice design. Uh, and besides the Amazing X here, we also. Actually, let's do a little bit of scooting because I gotta move the X here. Between one Amazing X here, between the other. Let's go with the Dark Matter. Now, granted, my Dark Matter is technically without its uh, uh, backpack and most of its weaponry because, technically speaking, I put away most of the weapon overall. Overall, size squares is still the same. It's an average gun plow right here. Let's go with something technically a little bit more bigger. We have my Sinadru Stein from... Uh, Gundam Narrative, right here. With the Sinandra sign technically being a little bit bigger than the regular Zaku right here. Size comparison and all that. 
And then last but not least, being compared to my favorite and the and the basically star of this channel, my Gundam Estrella, uh, Scarlet, who is currently right now and kind of like in a posy mood right now since the last time I saw it. Overall, the Zonko Mason is basically uh, average for its size, pretty uh, and pretty great model kit. Now let's go with final thoughts. And with that, that is it for the review for the Zonko Mason. Overall, it is a great model kit. Uh, despite the fact that it is uh, almost 10 years old, it's always up to date. Uh, articulation is pretty nice. Yes, there is some restrictions to the model kit itself. Uh, the fact that some of the skirt armor and some of the shoulder armor does kind of block the, uh, block some of the joints from doing a little bit more, uh, do, being able to move around a little bit more. But besides that, it still does pretty well. Uh, it's able to do uh, pretty good poses overall. It still has all its accessories. Are actually pretty nice. Like despite like like a lot of older kits, this thing actually does have a pretty good amount of accessories for the base model kit itself and some of the extra accessories that it does come with. Uh, being a variant machine, so it does come with a lot of the uh, weaponry from its original unit that it comes with. And overall, it's still a great model kit. If you see this on the shelves or whatnot, or you see this online, yeah, I recommend it. It's still a great model kit, despite the fact that it is almost a 10 plus year kit. And it holds up pretty goddamn well. But with that out of the way, that is the review for the Zonko Amazing. If you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. And as always, have a nice day, folks. This is I, Parn, signing out. And I'll see you guys on the next one.